DIT, Dublin Institute of Technology, is actually changing its name. Um, so by the time you see this, it will probably have its new name. Uh, it's changing its name to become the Technological University of, D of Dublin. This is really, really exciting for us. At the same time as it's changing its name and getting uh, what we call full university status. It's also merging with two other institutes of technology in Dublin. Um, it is, over the next few years, uh, building and developing a huge new campus in the centre of Dublin. So it's a really, really exciting time to join uh, DIT, or TUD, the Technological University of Dublin. Uh, particularly exciting as fees haven't changed uh, at this point, the entry criteria haven't changed. So anybody applying to DIT now, or in fact studying in DIT right now is going to get a degree from uh, the Technological University of Dublin. Now the degrees that you get from uh, DIT or uh, TUD, uh, Bachelor Honours degrees, Master's degrees, just the same level as you would um, anywhere else, um, at, at a university anywhere else in, in Europe. I guess DIT has a little bit more of a focus on employability, career readiness, um, on helping students prepare for the world of work, a little bit more of a vocational focus. Um, so many of the professors have industry experience, there are lots of internships as part of the, part of the degree programmes. Some of the popular programmes, um, uh, you can see there's a Masters in Digital Marketing, a Masters in Advertising. Uh, there's some great Masters in the College of Arts and Tourism, Masters and Bachelor's degrees in things like Tourism Management, Event Management, International Hospitality Management, really, really focused um, uh, on, the, uh, on leisure and tourism. In Ireland, that is a huge business in, um, in the country, huge amount of tourism, huge number of hotels. Um, so a really great opportunity for students looking to take advantage of the post-study work visa uh, and get a job in a hotel chain after they graduate. Um, but there are also business degrees, very, very strong school of business. Um, there's a, a science and health school with um, pharmaceutical healthcare, biomedical sciences at undergraduate level, um, or a computing degree at master's level with a focus on um, security and f forensics. So you can see a real focus on helping students study the kind of things that they will be doing uh, when they progress uh, into work.